Bradley McDougal are going to be back. This year's number one of the Big 12 on kick returns at almost 34. And talked about it starting back in 1902. And we are underway in Lawrence. Bashir's over to the side, and it did get into the end zone. A touchback, and what a kick by Cantelli. There and kick the field goal. Make sure you run your pattern deep enough. It is going to be a 37-yard attempt, almost 38. Just sure of five, five of the line of 48. And for the first point of the game, Cherry, and it's on its way, and it's good. So call it a 37-yarder for the senior Kansas from McCook, Nebraska. Kansas. The incompletion, but his receiver didn't have to jump to catch that football. So now third and ten. They have not been able to exploit their best weapon, Daniel Thomas. On the edge, making a mess, and down the sideline he goes. It's Quarles, and he's bumped out after a nifty move to get the first down and make it Thompson. 86 not 89 Ogantodu got over there but how about the first move by Tremaine Thompson a burner at 5 7 165 yeah and, and I'll tell you what <laughs> it, it missed tackles you know didn't want to have more than 10 and Patman misses and he tried to just karate kick him just a little little, little leg drive a little take him down I mean that's you got to use the, the sideline as an extra defender but man you can't be falling away and kicking at him like you're in some kind of kung fu class now first snap of the second quarter It'll be fourth and a yard. Kaufman, he's got Wilson, the fullback in there with Daniel Thomas. Coming up to the line. The wide receiver checking so they can hear it. Option. Kaufman can keep it. He will. And he's in. Touchdown, Kansas State. Wow. Deshaun Sands in the backfield with Jordan Webb. And it's going to be Sands. Good hold oh, the middle. There goes the ball. It's loose. It's picked up. Coming the other way. The defensive back, Zimmerman, dropped inside the 30, the 25. Brazell Brown ripped it out. And Ty Zimmerman, the true freshman from Junction City, Kansas, picking it up. Brown does a fantastic job. 6'2", 284, just overwhelms and overpowers Sands at 5'7", 190. Kaufman again. This time he should be in. He is touchdown K-State. So they were desperate for the first down. They get it. Now on the play fake in the delay. Isolation and inside the 10 incomplete. It looked like his wide receiver Matthews was going to be able to come up with it. Stephen Harrison on the coverage. Can they get to? That's all they need. Moving the pocket by design. Now Webb in trouble. Can he create? No. And lucky that he held on to the ball. It could have been popped away going the other way. David Garrett on his back, who made the previous play. David Garrett, number 27. This is a little Tasmanian devil right here. On first down, Kaufman looking over the middle and going deep over the middle. Grab is made inside the 25. Chris Harper winning the jump ball. He is 6'2", 230 pounds. You try to bring him down. He gets into the zone read, and nobody's going to get him. Touchdown, Kansas State. Daniel Thomas had not rushed for a touchdown in two football games. That streak is done. Coach Snyder, you, you, you couldn't tell by his expression if he's up 23 nothing or down 23 nothing. Totally focused. Look at the action. Good blocking up front, sustained blocks. Again, the Wildcats score two rushing touchdowns without a fingernail laid on them. Kansas State is dominating up front. These guys are scoring in touch football. Cherry for the point after, so with that run, Daniel Thomas goes over 2,000 career yards rushing, only the seventh in Wildcat history to accomplish that. And does he ever do it in style? A nine yard touchdown run and a 24 to nothing lead for K State. And he didn't want to play defense. Oklahoma recruited him, and a number of teams recruited him like Oklahoma, elite teams, but they wanted to play defense. Nothing to do it.
on the end around of the reverse play. Trying to get more touches for DJ Bashirs, but there's Zimmerman over there making a big play again like he did in the fumble recovery. Seems like he's been a lot more the way he carries it. Short field helps, doesn't it? Started for their own 49. Need three on third down. After the play, bank of the chip, back of the end zone, touchdown, K State and Tannehill. Number 80, Travis Tannehill. Okay, we've seen Daniel Thomas run it, we've seen him catch it. Great blitz pickup right there. They faked the football to him, took the blitzer down. Gave Kaufman an opportunity to throw it down the field, vision unimpeded. What do you do without the football if you're a superstar? Watch him, fake, chop, nice. Open lane, touchdown. And not on the board in a lot of months in a row when it comes to conference play. This would be their ninth consecutive Big 12 loss. Right. After the play fake, Kaufman looked at the tight end, and he's got him. Touchdown, K-State, Andre McDonald. Mm. What a night for Carson Kaufman. Old McDonald is a big target. Man, is he down the field at 6'8", 277? I mean, if you can't find McDonald, you can't find anybody. That's like the old Empire State Building running down the field. I mean, it's like a big old tower. 6'8", 277 pound redshirt freshman. Never surprised by you, David. The beat goes on. <laughs> so looking for their first points of the game, we are halfway through the third. Man, in a hurry up, man. It should be a flag. K-State did not get a man off. Ball's There's a the loose ground. ball, and it's going the other way. Steven Harrison, and it should have been a flag. K-State did not have their man off the field. It'll be inside the 20, the 10, and touchdown, Kansas State. But as I saw on the far sideline, K-State didn't get their man off the field in time. Will the play stand? Man, that's what Bill Snyder is talking about because got a feeling he thinks it's coming back. Now Webb on first and goal from the 10. Yeah, the first time they've had first and goal tonight. And he's joined by Quigley in the backfield. And the fade into the corner for Wilson and intercepted. Ah. Went for Jonathan Wilson and instead it's Steven Harrison. What a night. Picked up the fumble, took it in for a touchdown. Now he gets the uh, end zone interception. Bill Snyder is proud of his defense for their second, or actually that's the third takeaway of the night. Boy, one of them they score an unscripted touchdown on. Another one they prevent a touchdown in the red zone. Harrison. A Kansas State has won all the contested catches on both sides of it. Their defensive backs have been stronger at the high point of the football. William Palm in the backfield now. Five foot nine senior will get it on first down. Uh -oh. And into the secondary. Look out. Uh -oh. Will they get an angle on Powell? And the bump him out of bounds. Touchdown saving tackle on the play oh, by Greg Brown. It's nine carries, 40 yards. The last thing you think, Kaufman running the football regularly. He keeps it again, and he's got his third rushing touchdown of the night. So there's the changeup. That's the curveball going into the game. You don't anticipate Car Carson Kaufman running it 10 times ever. Well, it, and it's because of what Kansas did defensively. Carson Kaufman, little zone read here. Watch, you know, he's going to zone read. And it's a great call by Bill Snyder. Watch everybody right here. They're gonna they're gonna attack Thomas, and Coffin can walk into the end zone. I mean, Thomas draws a crowd of nine, and nobody. That's probably the fourth rushing touchdown where not one fingernail was laid on a on a Kansas State Wildcat. That's hard to do in the red zone like that. And that that tell you that the old Wildcat mascot's gonna be buffed. That's a bunch of push-ups going on. 52 points, man. It has been a very sound night defensively for Kansas State. I, I don't know if you'd call it spectacular. Third and goal. Delay. Big lane over to the left side. Quickly's got it. No shutout. Touchdown Angus Quigley and Kansas with 2.06 remaining. A little counter play, a little misdirection. Well designed play, well executed by the Jayhawks to get on the board. So 55 7 in Waco. Will it stay 52 7 if they kick the extra point in Lawrence? Oh, my aching elbow. There you go. 
90 seconds and counting left on a second and less than a yard. A little quarterback action for the first down and a lot more. Wow, Scott and Klein, is he gone? Yeah. Yes, he is. That wasn't the plan. <laughs> no. You know, it was basically Bill Snyder said, we're going to keep the ball on the ground. But Kansas couldn't make the play. They couldn't tackle him. They didn't hit the proper gap. A huge, huge lane for Colin Klein. I mean, it's just easy pickets right there. And he is off to the races. 14 yards of carry. My math was improper. Mrs. Riley would be kicking my tail right now, my fourth and fifth grade uh, math teacher. I thought you were English teacher. The Jeff, way you mangled it earlier, Norm. Trust me. Jethro, uh, <laughs> Jethro didn't teach me to cipher right. This was absolutely full of this ballpark. It was about 97% capacity at the start of the night. There's not going to be a lot of traffic late. So they avoid the shutout. But not the sting of losing at home to your in-state rivals.